being a very deep cricket uh, enthusiast and now somewhat involved with the sport i see with uh, admiration the rise and rise and rise of virat kohli i see his energy on the field i see his energy off the field i see the way he is transforming and rewriting the rules of the game uh, the t20 format 140 to 160 was par <laughs> score he has redefined it now 190 is sub par 250 250 240 there is something within him that propels him more than others there are many people who are talented there are many people who have this ability but there are few who realize this ability what is it that takes one to realize that he can do a little more he can inspire more he can create more he can create new standards is there something from within or is it something from outside what is it i have also been watching virat kohli with interest <laughs> because uh, i have seen every great batsman in the last 40 45 years very few have hit the ball the way he is hitting it probably the only other person that i can think of is vivian richards who used to hit the ball like this but he did not have the same same sense of mission that this boy has <laughs> he just played for fun and you know an island caribbean culture <laughs> and he kind of didn't take it so seriously or did not go at it with a certain zeal with which this boy is going but i think he was the only one who was striking the ball the way this boy is striking today which is very rare most people who have watched only cricket on the television don't understand this probably it's one of the most dangerous games on the planet a hard ball is coming at you over 130 140 kilometers per hour and this is the only sport where the ball is pitched and it swings this way that way which gives you a fraction of a second to make your decision how to handle that ball it's it's a very dangerous game you must uh, you know there bowling machines they may be there in uh, calcutta yes the bowling machines are there young man i am telling you don't try 140 kilometers at 80 or 90 kilometers just make set the bowling machine at 90 kilometers and stand there and see how the ball comes at you it's crazy okay <laughs> so every ball is different the way it's coming at you so it needs to be handled everybody who's there we must understand is very good they may look clumsy they may get out for zero but they're very good <laughs> with what they're doing but somebody stands out like this this reminds me of uh, there was a motorcycle rider who was known as whose name was Kenny Roberts who won the world championships five times in a row people couldn't believe it because you have to win 16 races across the country to get to the championship all the machines are prepared by the top companies and the talent is at the highest level but winning five in a row was considered unprecedented and impossible so they asked him how do you do this so he said uh, i go out of control with control <laughs> i understand that very well <laughs> i live every step of my life like that always out of control but with control <laughs> this is what everybody is seeking they want little madness in their life but they don't want to go insane but their longing for safety and security makes them insulate themselves from that little madness then they wonder what's happened to my life it's become boring and no good they try to step out then they get hit by something they again build walls around them this process is going on 
So when you take an example like this, one thing is the zeal, another thing is loving what you're doing, really loving what you're doing, that's what you <coughs> want to do. Hyderabad, one of the film actors, his final question is, Sadhguru, all this is okay, but in cricket, how to beat Pakistan? <laughs> I said, uh, you should not try to beat Pakistan, you should just learn to hit the ball. There is no Pakistan in the ball, <laughs> all right? You just have to hit the ball. You don't have to beat Pakistan. If you try to beat Pakistan with your stupid emotions, you will do something stupid, which has been happening continuously. Now, I think recently Virat Kohli came on the television and said, my only problem is I get angry. I want to be like a monk, something he said, <laughs> whatever his own version of being wanting to calm. I think he needs balance. With the kind of talent he has, if he learns to become balanced, he is going to be a phenomena. He's going to be a, a new cricketing story on the planet not just one more player, he has the necessary ingredients. I said this when he was seventeen, I saw him playing in Singapore for the under eighteen team or something, he was captaining that team at that time. I saw this boy playing and then only I said, this guy will go far. And then he vanished out of my radar for almost five, six years and then he surfaced suddenly one day in the test <laughs> in the Indian team. And now he's going the way he's going, he needs to balance himself. If he learns to be a cool fire, not a fire that burns him up, then he will do things which probably has not been done for a long time. I think we can give him those tools of self-transformation, which will not take away the fire. See, there are two ways to fire yourself. If I get angry, I can propel myself, this is one way. But all of you know, whenever you're angry, it propels you, at the same time it takes away your sense in many ways. It takes away your capabilities. We can show you scientifically, medically we can show you how your system is getting poisoned when you're angry. Instead of being that way, with sheer pleasantness, you can drive yourself. You do not know how to… See, there is… there… we have been driving internal combustion engines for a long time, which have been smoking and polluting and killing us in many ways, but they've been propelling us. Now we are coming to engines which has no internal combustion, which smoothly drives without a noise, without smoke, without nothing. We are just coming to that, we are just coming of age with automobiles. Similarly, it's time humanity comes of age that you learn to propel yourself in a very pleasant manner. I am also on twenty hours a day, three and sixty-five days. People ask me, what propels you, Sadhguru? What is the mission? I say, I'm just fooling around <laughs> Why do you need anger and this and that? If out of sense you can drive yourself, it is not necessary you have to drive yourself with anger or hatred. Yes, those things give you energy in a certain way, but they take away your competence in many levels. This boy needs tools for self-transformation. I think we should deliver that to him <laughs> I would like to do that to him because he is a phenomena in waiting. Yes, he is. <laughs> if already not made, I mean he can be a much bigger phenomena but he's already a phenomena See, not uh, in one season phenomena will be forgotten. Forgotten. He needs to become a… yes <laughs>